Doug Harper. I've been with the FBI company and Thermo Fisher for 23 years now, and I'm happy to show you around the 835 today. This dual beam is a genetic heart and soul of our tool sets that continues to develop as I speak. They're getting better and better to both use and to service. It's been a pleasure to work with these tools and all my colleagues around the world. And uh, we open them up with a little uh, tool that looks like this, and uh, it's got a little finger on it. We s slide it between the doors and pull down the tab that's on the inside. I think it's kind of neat. It doesn't show the, uh, the hardware on the outside. It makes for a nice clean package. So the tab is right here. We pull that down and you can open it up just like that. Okay, and that exposes uh, the electronics. This is uh, the electronics rack, and I'm going to try and get a little tighter shot so you can see it a little better. The very top of the rack is what we call the AVA controller. That's the, the box that controls the, um, the aperture strip in the E column. Right below that is a UHR Delta power supply. And then we have uh, multiple electronics racks. Below it, there's one, two, three, four, five racks, plus uh, the IGP uh, power supplies, uh, then an interface uh, uh, box below that. See what you can see. Okay. And behind this door, is the electronics rack for the for the eye call. Uh, it's got a flotation table, the, the uh, spicer, uh, field cancellation, and the uh, the turbo pump controller, as well as the IGP for the for the ion column. We have one ion getter pump on the ion column. We have two on the E column, and uh, the power supply. High tension power supply. Now we're going to open up the uh, um, the front panel so you can look inside to the chamber area, and that's the uh, that's the fun part. Inside the tool, we're looking at the electron column here and the two IGPs we talked about, an ABA controller, and this is the sensor for the spicer uh, field uh, cancellation. Uh, in here, we can also see uh, we can look inside of the chamber itself. We've got a, a, a viewport, it's a light glass uh, viewport. And then this is the, uh, the load lock. So, um, I'll show you the different holders we use, but uh, it'll fold uh, an 8 inch wafer in there. And on the back side, uh, which you can't see, just directly behind the electron column, is the, uh, the ion column. So we'll move around back so I can show you that. We're in the back of the tool now, and uh, we're looking directly at the ion column. It's at an angle, it happens to be 52 degrees from here. And um, this is the high tension cap for it. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, black knobs here we call positioners that help us move the source um, to go right down the middle of the column through several apertures. Now this box right here is the deflection amplifier that um, moves the beam, steers the beam, if you will, um, both when it scans, plus uh, it has a, a DC shift, left, right, up, and down. Uh, it also helps with uh, the stig, and um, it's a very important box. So basically, we generate an, an ion beam um, that's a uh, the source is the uh, liquid metal ion source. Uh, we accelerate um, uh, with that source, and uh, it will begin to emit, and then we control it with this, with this box. 
Uh, on here we also have a, uh, you can just kind of barely see the top of it here, the, the, the ABA controller, uh, automatic variable uh, aperture strip controller, uh, exactly like the one for the E column, but the apertures are uh, different sizes. And um, lens one is here, lens two is just below it. Uh, for um, pre-focus and focus of the beam. And right over here, you can see it, that's a CDM detector. Uh, we'll talk about it a little bit. And below this whole level here, I can show you the, the tank that develops the voltage, voltage is for the uh, uh, for the ion column, and uh, you can see right here, it's, it's got HTSU on high tension supply unit, HTSU uh, for the ion column. All right, this is the fourth side of the tool. This side you can see the tilt mechanism in here. Uh, you can kind of see the, the heavy cylinder here that uh, uh, the tensions it, pre-tensions it. You can also see uh, the two interface boards for the stage, what they call SBB and SMC boards. We do a lot of our stage testing um, with these boards. That's uh, the last point, um, or the first point outside of vacuum. We get an opportunity to test the stage, and uh, we do a lot of it. It's got a number of uh, LEDs on here that, that tells the, the stage whether it's at home or not. And uh, the encoder signals are brought out, and we can we can measure those. If I get chance in this in a second or third video, I can show you um, how to test those signals. I'd like to do that. You also get a, a little better perspective on the uh, the columns here. Okay, the E column is here. Let's see if I can flip up a little bit. So you can Okay, so I column here, E column right there. So you can see how they're mounted on the um, on the backing stand.